yeah, y'all, back with another basic girl shower routine. This is an update. This is my full shower routine. So what you see me doing here is rinsing off Nair from my legs. So when I do hair removal, I like to use Nair, not a razor too much, just for in between. It's when I use a razor, but most times I'm using Nair to get the hair off of those large areas. And when I get into the shower, I just rinse it off. And now I am just, of course, getting the water all over me so that I can prepare to clean my body. <laughs> and what wasn't in my last shower routine is I've been using these exfoliating gloves. I saw Jackie Ina use these and I started using them and I used to only use them maybe once or twice a week. But now I've gotten in the habit like Jackie of using them every day whenever I take a shower and I feel like that has really helped my skin stay smooth and help it stay moisturized when I actually put the moisture or lotion on my body because I tend to have dry skin especially on my legs and I really haven't had that and I think that's due to, in part to exfoliating with these gloves every day as well as the lotion that I use so I just take my body soap which is the Dove Bar Soap in the Cocoa Butter. <laughs> wow, I just drew a blank. In the Cocoa Butter scent. And I use that all over my body for my first wash because typically when I take a shower, I will wash up twice. That's just a habit that I've been in since I was a teenager. I don't know why. I just do it. So of course I use those gloves all over my body from neck to toe and I love our dual shower head because I can have two streams running at the same time but I also have the removable one so I can rinse all the soap and whatever off of my body and have a luxurious shower experience. <laughs> So as I mentioned, I like to wash up twice. So lately I've been using this body scrub. It's rose water and pink sea salt. I got it off of Amazon and I'll be sure to link whatever products I can below in the description box. But I'll use this on my loofah and then I'll wash up for a second time. So if I don't have a body wash, then I'll just use my soap again on my loofah. But I like to scrub and exfoliate and to keep my skin nice and clean because it's the largest organ on your body. Like, it holds odd odor. It's the outside layer that people see. So it's got to be nice and clean. So I do enjoy times when I can take my time and actually do this for myself and really take my time and do my full extra basic girl shower routine. <laughs> all right now that my body and my skin is clean i have to take care of some very important skin on my vulva so i use the honey pot and i just take about two pumps and i clean down there for about 60 seconds of course you don't want to put this inside your body it's for external use only 
And I use this mostly to keep my vulva fresh and to prevent any odors. And then I just take the shower head and rinse it off as I would any normal soap. But that is the only thing I use on my vulva is honey pot and water just to maintain the proper balance for my body. And then I also probably once a month like to make sure I get all the dead skin off my feet, especially because I don't always have time to go to the nail salon. So I use this foot rasp to get the dead skin off. And those heels can get rough, y'all, especially in the summertime and in the fall. You know, you may have your, your heels out and stuff. And you don't want nobody seeing all that rough, dry skin. So I use this on the bottom of my feet. And I do this at the end of my shower because I've been standing in water. So now the bottom of my feet, the skin has softened. So it's easier to get all that dead skin off. And then I use this foot file. It has a coarser side and a finer side. So I start with the coarser side to smooth it out and to get rid of any other dead skin that's there. And then I'll switch over to the finer side. And then sometimes I will go in with a pumice stone, especially sometimes on my Achilles, I'll have some like dead or dry skin there that needs to be removed or my skin will like peel there. So I'll use that there, but then I'm finished in the shower and now I'm out and I can moisturize my body. It's very important for me once I get out that I moisturize. So I use this Vaseline intensive care advanced lotion. I'm gonna link this in my description box because I get this from Amazon. I buy it in a three pack and I promise you a little bit goes a long way. So this is nighttime, so I like to use this lotion at night so that way I'm in bed, my skin has time to absorb it overnight and all that jazz. So I get all of my areas, my whole entire body from my shoulders down to my feet. And this lotion just works wonders, okay? It keeps me moisturized for sure. It claims to have like 24 hour moisture, but I still moisturize in the morning because I just know my skin, but this lotion is amazing. I was influenced by Miss Vaughn TV to get this lotion. And I noticed when I don't use it, or if I stop for a long time, my skin just starts to like dry out. My skin needs to stay moisturized and hydrated. So doing this right after the shower, when my skin is still a little damp, is perfect. And at night, I like to spray on my scent, especially if it's one that I'm gonna use the next day. So I put that on after my lotion so that way the spray has something to stick to and, you know then I can smell myself I smell good in bed and then my husband has something good to smell while he's in bed you know what I'm saying uh. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up in this voiceover and then I use the ordinary um, glycolic acid toning solution or I will use um, baking soda free deodorant, aluminum free deodorant. But since I shaved and did hair removal, I use the stick deodorant because you know, my skin's been like irritated with the razor and with the nair and stuff. So when I put that toner up there, yeesh, it burns. But after that, once I've had a few days, I'll use the toner. Cause I'm just, deodorant is just not my jam. But that's my basic shower routine. This works for all seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring. So it's fall y'all. It's getting colder, it's gonna get a little bit drier. So stay hydrated, stay clean, and stay moisturized. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share before you go. And I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Happy Vlogtober, happy fall y'all. Bye.